What's up guys, welcome to Smart Watch Series. In this video, I want to talk about the latest firmware update that has come to the Fitbit Versa 2, the fashion, the firmware version 35.71.6.19. It comes with it some new interesting features which I want to discuss in this video. But before that, please, if you are new to this channel, please click on that subscribe button and of course on notification bell to get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Alright guys, let's head on straight to the video. Okay, right now I am in the Fitbit app, okay, so I'm going to tap on this and then I'm going to go to Fitbit Versa 2. Alright guys, the first feature I want to talk about that's come with the latest version 35.71.6.19 you can find your version here 35.71.6.19 if you are not on this version with your version 2 definitely you will not see these features i'm going to talk about right now in this video so you have to make sure that you are updated to this particular version to the latest version of the versa 2 to get the new features all right guys the first feature i want to talk about is the spo2 signature watch face as you may know the versa 2 year had the spo2 feature when it was released last year but this feature has been dormant on the versa 2 so right now with the latest update you can now measure spo2 but one thing here which i consider a very big turn off is that you don't you cannot actually um, track your SPO2 levels on demand, okay? This feature actually allows you to track SPO2 levels overnight when you sleep. So that is a turn off, especially when you consider um, watches like the Huawei GT2 Pro and the GT2 2 before it, even the Huawei Bad 4 Pro all have SPO2, which you can actually um, check whenever you want. But this feature actually allows you to check the SPO2 overnight when you sleep. and it's still good okay at least it's a very nice feature and a very big step forward so the spo2 signature watch phase allows you to see the spo2 uh, watch phase from fitbit which is called the spo2 signature watch phase what it does is to show you your blood pressure levels tracked overnight the watch phase is very interesting and details as it shows your active zone minutes, heart rate, battery level, time, and more. So once you are in the Versa 2 year, tap on clock faces. I want to also mention that the SPO2 signature watch face is not available in all country. So if you don't see this feature in your country, just know that it is not available. Yet. So there we go. This is my device. When you click on the um, clock face, you get to see my version so two year. The clock face is installed on all clocks. Okay, I already have it here, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Once you click on all clocks, you should see the Fitbit SPO2 clock face being shown on the home screen here. Now you can click on install. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna go back, okay. I'm gonna click on install, and then I'm gonna tap on select, okay. So you just choose what you want the SPO to signature to show. So I'm gonna grant permissions. So this is going to install the watch face normally, just like you install any other watch face on your Versa 2. So once this watch face installs, you can actually see your SPO2 level when you wake up. Now SPO2 monitors your blood oxygen. It tends to show you how well your blood absorbs oxygen. And this is a very nice feature. So there we go guys. This is the SPO2 um, signature watch face from Fitbit. Okay, as you can see, up on this okay so the first feature here is the spo2 level this feature measures your spo2 from 80 percent to 100 percent and anything below that is going to show a negative value for the result and once you tap on this screen here you get to see more features tap on this it shows you your heart rate 
tap on this right now 73 tap on this it shows my steps for the day as well as my target which is 10,000 steps we tap on this and it shows my active zone minutes we're going to talk about active zone minutes in a minute okay and then you tap again you see the floors climbed my goal for today is 10. so these are the features that the spo2 signature watch face can show you it's a very decent um and attractive and interesting watch face because it shows your, your date here your time here and the features it shows are quite very informative now guys let's go to the second feature active zone minutes this feature was introduced to the charge 4 what it does is to allow you set target heart rate and allows you when you meet these targets it follows the american health organization recommended weekly activities of 150 minutes of moderate activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity in a week now the active zone minutes here as you can see here it shows um, nine and my goal for today actually i did a i'll call it a moderate intense activity today while we're wearing the Versa 2 and it recorded this um, artist zone minute as 9. Now, this we have, yes, we go, we have um, 22, which is my goal. Now, while having 22 in a week, you are supposed to have um, a target of 150. Now, when you go to the okay, it says label to connect, go back here from your home screen here, you can see the active zone minutes. Okay, now when you tap on this, okay, let's see what it says. Um, Fit this new artist zone minutes count all activities that get your heart pumping based on expert recommendations from the World Health Organization. And it says 15, 150 minutes of moderate or 75 minutes of vigorous activities. And there we go. So the goal is 150 you can increase this you can decrease it but the recommended is 150 minutes for moderate intense activities and if you want to engage in vigorous intense activity you can reduce this to 75 so i'm going to say looks good okay and you should see your active zone minutes and then it says 15 remaining okay now it shows how it calculates this um uh, minutes for you, okay. The different zones that your heart has, heart rate has to be in, and then the number of um, uh, minutes you gain for each of these zones. So this is a very nice feature because it can help you to maintain your fitness goals. Let's say if you want to remain active, based on recommendations from global health authorities, this is a very nice feature that you will find very handy. Guys, let's talk about the third feature, which is the hand washing app. It's no longer news that the COVID-19 is one of the worst pandemic the world has experienced. And right now, smart watch manufacturers are trying their best to you know, make their own, I mean, play their own part in helping to combat this um, deadly um, pandemic. Now, while uh, Galaxy, sorry, while the Apple Watch has introduced a hand washing app that actually guides you to wash your hand for 60 seconds, Sorry for 20 seconds and also reminds you to wash your hands you know regularly fitbit with the latest firmware update has introduced the clean cool hand washing reminder watch face now this is another feature that comes with the update this feature will remind you to wash wash your hand every 60 minutes and when you begin to wash your hands a timer will begin that will guide you to wash your hand for at least 20 seconds now this can be assessed from the watch face um, it's a watch face actually so I'm gonna tap on the as a two year okay, tap on watch faces I have actually installed this um, watch face before now so there is the watch face I'm going to select it it's called clean cues you can just search this from the search bar on the clock faces on all clock faces to get this um, watch face and this is the, the clean cool hand washing reminder watch face this watch face is very interesting it shows my shows my heart rate here it shows my steps it shows the time my battery level the date and it shows the 59 minutes until next wash 
and then you can start washing your hand by tapping this. There is, there's also a, an alert bell here that you can actually um, toggle on or off depending on what you want. So I'm going to start washing right now and it's going to count up to 20 seconds to guide me to washing my hand with Global Health recommended um, time frame. So guys, there we go. Okay, now it says 60 minutes until next um, next wash okay so this is a very nice feature that can help you maintain the recommended guidelines for helping prevent the COVID-19 spread so that is another feature that comes with the version 35.71.6.19 firmware update now another feature that has come with this um, firmware update is that you can store watch faces on the Versa 2 before now you can only just um, Choose the watch face you want to add to your Versa 2 from here. Once you choose it and then you add it, it appears here. You cannot change watch faces from the Active 2, sorry, from the Versa 2, which is not interesting. Unlike the Active 2 here, where you can even where you can change watch faces as well as installing watch faces directly from the Active 2. That's a thumbs up for, for the Galaxy Watch Active 2. So on the Fusion Versa 2 right now with this um, latest update, okay, you just need to swipe, 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 and then you see the clock. Um, I am up here. Tap on it. Okay, tap on this clock up here. It goes through my list of watch faces that I already installed. The maximum of watch faces I can store on the Versa 2 is five. So I'm gonna just swipe, 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 and there we go. And this is another fine feature as it brings some level of convenience. You don't have to reach out for your phone every time you want to change your watch face on the Versa 2. That is a very nice feature. Another feature, the last but not the least, is the Find My Phone feature. Yes, um, normally before now, if you want to get this feature on the Versa 2, you need to download. You need to install a third party app to do just that but with the latest updates you can just um find your phone by default there's an app already that comes with this um software upgrade okay so when you swipe to a list of apps you should see the find my phone app here once you tap on it what it's gonna do right now is to ring my phone so guys these are the new features that comes with the Fitbit Versa 2 latest update 35.71.6.19. If you don't have this particular version running on the Versa 2, you will not get these features. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please, if you like, enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.